Right guys. Oh Jesus Christ, it's the weekend. Thank God. That's it. I've two blasphemous comments already. I apologise. Not that I give a shit. Uh, right, it's Saturday. I've had the worst week ever. Uh, started by doing the sobriety challenge. Starting it on Monday, so I'm day six now. Uh, not had a drink or anything. So close on a number of occasions to cracking open a beer, um, forgetting all about it. So, uh, any tips on how to stay clean on this sobriety? 30 days of soberness, please uh, leave them below. Uh, what makes it worse is, is that I've started on a reduced calorie intake. Uh, I don't want to call it a diet. Um, I know, shocking. You're thinking, what the hell does he need to go on a diet for? I felt the same. Um, but anyway, I'm on that. On that and the sobriety challenge, so it's, it's increasingly difficult. So apologies for the lack of boozing uh, in the videos, but, uh, but that's it for 30 days. So let me, uh, let me know how you got on with it, if you're doing it. Um, and I'll, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll try and stay dry. I'm pretty sure I will. Um, anyway, coffee. Think you out, Harry. I think you're onto something there. This video isn't about sobriety. It's not about being dry for 30 days or drinking coffee with your pinky out. This video is not a tutorial, not a how-to, but it's it's attaching this to this and how I'm going to do it. All right. So this is what we talked about in the uh, tips in under five minutes. This is the um, immersion heater for the um, fish tanks and aquarium heater. Um, with a thermostatic control on the knob. <sighs> yes, so so you change the temperature um, that it puts out by twiddling the little snurf dip uh, that's on top. <laughs> God, Harry, make me laugh. And uh, you need it in here. So it needs to go through a hole in your fermenter lid um, so it can heat your beer, obviously. Now, I'm lucky in the respect that the cable to this emerging heater for the fish tank is flat. I uh, don't know if you can see it, I can't see what I'm looking at. Uh, but it's, it's flat, it's not round, so what I'm hoping I can do is feed it through the grommet that the uh, airlock fits into. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to fit both the airlock and this wire through the same hole. If not, then I'm going to have to drill another hole, um, fit a grommet, and have the wire through that grommet. Now, a couple of you left comments on the tips in under five minutes uh, about putting the fermenter in a bucket of water and then putting this in the bucket of water to heat the beer. Um, and they suggested that thinking that it will be less hassle. I don't think it will be. Uh, I don't think it's less hassle than drilling a, a hole in the, the lid. I appreciate the comment, uh, obviously. that Oh, that sounds really awful. That sounds like I'm uh, really ungrateful for that. Uh, but to find a bucket for this to sit in um, and have it on the desk would take up too much room, um, is what I'm, I'm trying to say. So I'm going to fully immerse this in the beer. Uh, another comment was uh, make sure if you're doing it that it's clean and sterilized each time which um, which is a given for anything that's going in your beer. Uh, just because it's a fish tank heater doesn't mean just whip it out put it in another batch of beer without cleaning it or sterilizing it. Uh, so so that's it that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, I'm going to try not to make it too long, although probably waffled on quite a bit in the intro. 
Um, but let's uh, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is take the plug off the other end. All right. Uh, this one can actually be undone. The plug can be got into, uh, and you can unwire it. Some plugs, for safety reasons, you can't undo. So if you've got one that you can't get into, then just cut the plug off. Go and buy another plug. Strip the wires down and wire another plug in that you can get in and out of. All right. So let's get this off. Undo these. Now for you, those of you that haven't got a clue about uh, wiring up a plug or anything, these are just what you're undoing now. Are screws that press the wire onto the pin. If that makes any sense. So it makes a connection. All right. So now your plug is away and attached from your wire. So you're going to want to feed this wire now through your lid. We know that the wire and the airlock go through the same grommet, which is great. It's no fuss now drilling another hole in the lid. So what we need to do is we need to put the grommet back into the lid and feed the wire through the grommet and the lid. Like that. So now you've got your your immersion eater through the grommet and through the lid. And now what you're going to want to do is wire the plug back up uh, and complete the job. And that's it. Now you've got your plug back on and uh, everything's connected. Right, so now we're up here. Not going ball them off. I'll have to check that later. Uh, now we can get it all fitted in. So that's your fermenter bucket. You've got your beer in there, let's say. You know, obviously it's empty. We can all see that. You've got to use your imaginations now. <laughs> so your beer's in there. You put your... You put your immersion eater in and get it so it's, it's dangling in the middle. You put your lid on and then you wire this. You plug this into your um, into your plug. All right. And to make sure it stops where it is, you just put your airlock in. And that's it. It's actually made the grommet fit tight in the hole now, which it didn't use to do. And that's it. Now your heater is in your beer keeping it at a constant uh, temperature, whatever you want it at. Um, and your airlock's fitted nice and snug and tight. No other holes have been having to drilled into this, uh, this lid. And that's it, you're away and running. Just give you a little bit of a peek through the back, um, how it looks inside. There she is. Sat in your fermenter. Now if you don't want it sat on the bottom, which I think it's just shy of the bottom, you just uh, you just pull the wire through through your grommet and, and get it a bit higher. Um, and there it is. Look, poking through the uh, grommet with the uh, airlock. So there you have it. Uh, that's how I've managed to get the thermostatically controlled. Uh, aquarium heater fitted into a fermentation bucket without having to get a drill out. Um, now depending on what grommet you're using you might have to drill another hole in and fit another grommet. Uh, and even if you have got the same sort of uh, grommets that I've got if your fish, um, if your hydrometer, hydrometer, if your heater wire is round and not flat you'll have trouble uh, getting both of the airlock and the uh, wire into the same grommet but if you have got a round one 
uh, and you need to drill a hole, it's not a big problem at all. Just drill a hole, fit your grommet, and away you go. So that's it, guys. That's how I've fitted that into there. Hope it's been of some help. Uh, don't forget to thumb up the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, Jesus Christ, 30 days of dryness. <laughs> so many. Uh, it's day six for me. Um, so we'll see how we go. Leave your tips and comments below on how to how to get through it. Does it get any easier? Um, God, I hope it does. So that's it. Cheers. See you later. Keep safe. Keep on brewing. Pinky out. <laughs>